Hi friends, it's Mari Clark here for Trinity Stamps. I'm going to be creating a slimline card for you today featuring the Berry Special Slimline stamp set. And this is just a really adorable stamp that has a ton of different sentiments that are perfect for many different occasions. I'm going to start off here by showing you the stamp set. And this of course includes these bears and the adorable slimline orientation. Also these sentiments, happy bear day to you. I miss you so much I can barely stand it. You're very special. Sending bear hugs, being without you is unbearable. And I made this card with my bear hand. So super, super cute. I love these adorable bear images. There's so many things that you could do with this, with your different coloring techniques. And today I'm going to uh, do just some really, really simple Copic coloring with some pastel colors to create a really nice pastel spring theme card using this very special stamp set. So I'm going to start off here with my uh, regular size Misty here and I'm going to stamp out the bare images on some Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock. I wanted to treat my cardstock with my anti-static powder tool here because I do want to heat emboss all of these sweet little bare images on my white cardstock here for you today. So I'm going to just make sure that I get lots of that anti-static powder on there and now I'm going to go ahead and stamp out my image with some black crisp ink ink and this is a slow drying ink so that it's perfect for uh, heat embossing here and I'm just going to stamp that onto my white cardstock and then put some clear embossing powder over top. I'm going to just use a microfiber cloth here to um, press down on that stamp set so that it uh, just uh, gets all of that ink onto the entire surface of my cardstock here using just a clear uh, embossing ink or sorry embossing powder and now I'm just melting it with my heat tool and now we're just going to have some really nice uh, black lines on our um, image there so really nice and dimensional. Now I have done some coloring off camera and I just basically colored in all of the different little uh, parts of the bears that are not their fur so the toques and the caps and that kind of thing and I'm showing you here I'm going to use the slimline stitched dies today this is a set that has four different dies in it it has some nested rectangle shapes which are really awesome and I'm going to use the second largest rectangle that's in that set to cut out my little polar bears now I didn't color the bears because um, I just wanted them to be polar bears white bears and then I just want just that little bit of pastel pop of color on my card and you can just see here I'm going to be using one of the slimline uh, cardstock um, pattern papers from Trinity Stamps and I'm also going to be using one of the scallop slimline dies as well. This is the scallop slimline die set. It comes with two scallop rectangles and then a bunch of dies to trim out some sentiments as well which is really fun. So this is my uh, patterned paper from the slimline pattern paper pad from Trinity Stamps and I'm going to get that stuck down to my slimline card base here with some liquid adhesive. You can see how nice that scalloped edge is on this uh, pattern paper that I trimmed out with that slimline scallop die. And now I'm going to take my piece with my bears stamped on it and I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the back of that piece so that it is dimensional and popped up off of my card front in that way. So just going to get that all trimmed up, take the release paper off the back and get that stuck down to my polka dot patterned paper here, which is just a really nice soft pastel blue color on my white card base. And the white card base is cut to 3.5 by 8.5, which is a standard um, slimline size. So I'm going to just go ahead and eyeball this and try to get that on there as straight as I possibly can and smooth that out. And I just love those soft pastel colors. I love the dimension that the heat embossing gives to the black lines of that stamped image. And I'm ready to add some embellishing. And so I just went into my stash and grabbed a bunch of different pastel colors of stickles that match up with the Copic uh, colors that I used. And I'm just going to add the matching color of 
stickle to the to the colored areas so where it's colored that really soft purple I'm using my purple stickles and so on now I'm going to stamp out my sentiment the first time I stamped it it didn't stamp very nicely so I ended up stamping it again and I'm going to go ahead and trim out this once I have this heat emboss I'm going to once again heat emboss this in exactly the same way that I did the bears so I'm just putting my clear embossing powder over top of my nice uh, slow drying pigment ink there and now I'm just going to take my heat tool to it and melt that embossing powder and I'm going to use one of the sentiment strip dies from the scallop slimline die set uh, really love that that slimline set because it comes with so many different parts right that are really useful for all different kinds of things that you're doing with your cards now I did do these uh, sentiment strips in three different options I did a light blue kind of an aqua color and then a white with the black and I really liked that um, aqua the most that has the white heat embossing on it and I'm going to use that as my sentiment strip here so I'm going to just take some foam adhesive here I've cut that in half so that it fits the back of my um, sentiment strip here and I'm going to go ahead and find a spot that doesn't have any stickles on it I didn't want to cover up any of the the um, sort of like most detailed parts of my card here so I decided to kind of go for um, the sentiment over on the lower right side which I like I like the looks of that and now I just wanted to go ahead and add some embellishments if you have not uh, checked out the uh, Trinity stamps embellishment section of their shop they have a ton of fun embellishments this one is rainbow fish flat back bead mix and there's a ton of flat bad bead flat flat back bead mixes that's a tongue twister in the shop so make sure you check those out I love these because they're kind of a matte finish and they just are there's so many colors in this set so that I had no trouble matching them up to my card and that's going to be it for my card today so make sure that you check out the links in the description box below to all of the different products that I used today in the Trinity stamps shop I had so much fun making this I think this is just a soft fun birthday card and I love this stamp set it is perfect for so many different kinds of cards thanks so much for stopping by today make sure that you check out Trinity stamps and all of the other social media platforms platforms. I've linked up to a couple of other videos here for you today. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an amazing day everybody. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.